you remember the weekly world news? They used to have great headlines. That kind of stuff that was plainly made up. Well, it's gotten much more difficult to spot a fake news story than it used to be thanks to the digital age. You don't believe me? Just stick around. Ban this gay smart, I'm not racist, but car crime, knife crime, hang the cheating wife time, pop stars take drugs, teen boys wear hoods, sports stars have sex, bear shit in woods, Brussels politicians want to stop us drinking English ale. Some sources are known to be unreliable. Take for example the beloved Daily Mail. In the UK, the Daily Mail newspaper is a middle brow tabloid that generally prints factual articles, but you know, from a conservative slant. Online though, it's a complete free for all. The Mail Online prints whatever they want to, basically anytime they want to, and a lot of that stuff gets shared as real actual articles. This is really saying something because in 2014, the Daily Mail Online was the most visited newspaper website in the world. Now the Mail Online does publish stories from the print version of the newspaper, so it's not like every article on the site is totally illegitimate. But there are websites that have proliferated lately that are dedicated to completely made up news, like the Empire News, Empire Sports, Hustlers, National Report, The Daily Current, the very legitimate sounding Wyoming Institute of Technology, and the World News Daily Report. I don't know how to run a newspaper, Mr. Thatcher. I just try everything I can think of. Charge, you know perfectly well there's not the slightest proof that this armada's off the Jersey Hello, coast. Hello, Mr. Bernstein. Excuse me, Mr. Bernstein. Can you Payne. prove it isn't? Say you're on a news site and they have an article that interests you, something sensational sounding but credulous like, um, U.S. President Suffers Heart Attack. Well, this could be true, but a quick scan of the other articles on the site will give you an idea of whether you should believe it or not. If the other articles include headlines like Grandmother Mates with Croc or Nine-Year-Old Accidentally Discovers Cure for Cancer, you should possibly be wary. Of course, the other headlines might not be quite as ridiculous, but if you take a good look at the stories, you'll get a sense of the seriousness of the publication, which is a good indication of its integrity. Facebook is another place where dubious stories get shared or promoted, so look twice at the site they came from before hitting that share button. Let's go back to that US President Suffers Heart Attack story. If you're still not sure, head on over to the site of a reputable news outlet like CNN or New York Times. If they're reporting that same story, it's probably a pretty good indication it's for real. But be sure to check their sources too, because they can be lazy as well. If they're all citing that original article you're seeking the provenance of to begin with, maybe it isn't real after all. Case in point, in January 2014, the Daily Mail ran a photo of smoggy Beijing in the early morning. A giant rectangular TV screen in the foreground showed a beautiful sunrise. The story underneath was titled, China starts televising the sunrise on giant TV screens because Beijing is so clouded in smog. Well, Time Magazine and CBS picked up the story, crediting the Daily Mail as the source. But they soon issued a correction when, after finally doing their own reporting, they discovered it was a fabrication. The TV screen existed, but the sunrise shot was part of a tourism ad. One of the easier ways to spot a suspect story is if they're located on a news site with a strange domain name. For example, if a story originates on a site ending in .ru, you can end right there. Other untrustworthy sites will try to imitate a reputable, well-known website by incorporating it into its own URL. For example, using NBC as part of its URL, like www.nbc-real-news.com. Another trick, using nearly the same URL as a popular site, omitting a letter or two, or misspelling the name. Very long, complex domain names are another sign something might be amiss. Remember, anyone can pay for a domain name. So now you're equipped, and you'll never look like a fool to your friends on Facebook again. And if you want to hone your skills even further, you can go to HowStuffWorks.com and search for our article 10 Ways to Spot a Fake News Story.